Mexico, the longest reigning WWE Intercontinental Champion of all time, the Honky Tonk Man. Do you ever get tired of hearing that song? Mm, not really, no. I, I, I get tired of singing it every show I go on when I was doing 50, 60, 80 shows a year. Yeah, I have kind of got tired of that. You know, I understand now why, you know, the Rolling Stones don't like to play, sing Start Me Up all the time. You gotta think that Satisfaction. Right? Yeah. It's like, man, I want some new material. But You, you uh, gotta realize that by the time the song becomes a hit, they've I, sung it a hundred thousand times and they're probably yeah, tired of it. And right? I'll probably sing it tonight. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, yeah, that's right. You are here in Brockfield tonight. Uh, big card at the Brockville Memorial Center, part of Great North Wrestling. You're in an eight-man tag match. Yes, eight men in the ring at once, and the referee, that's nine. Oh, boy. Uh, I would call that scrambled eggs. It's, it's a little confusing, I would Yes, think. it's been called other things, uh, but we can't say on the radio. So uh, <laughs> is there really any kind of, uh, I want to say, philosophy behind it? You just kind of wait there's, for someone tags you yeah. and you just go, right? Yeah, there's, there's no rhyme or reason to it, and... Uh, that's what makes it interesting. Uh, hopefully, uh, I won't get tagged in at all. Maybe so. Uh, that'll be really that'll be really a nice night. You know, come out, sing the song, stand on the apron, and be a cheerleader for all the seven other guys. Uh, I feel like you're going to get in on this one. I think I think they're going to want to see some shake, rattle, and roll going on. <laughs> oh boy, I can shake. I don't know about the rattle and the roll anymore, but yeah, no, yeah, you've uh, you've had a, quite a career. I yeah. It's been a good. I'm going to admit career. something. Um, back in the '80s, I remember playing the WWE arcade game. I never won on the game, did I? I always selected you, but I never won. But you had the guitar. That's why I took you. Maybe my, my just son like, finally said, "Dad, Dad, I you won. You won the game." I said, "Well, how did you do it?" He said, "I used cheat codes." Yeah. <laughs> God <laughs> mode. It's only when we win with honky. But, but uh, uh, yeah, you know, I don't even know how to play those games, and no. I'm on several of them, and. I, I haven't even seen the new one that's out with really nice graphics and everything. Yeah, no, they're pretty cool. They're getting uh, even more advanced, and you know, soon soon it'll be almost like you were actually physically in the game wrestling the Honky Dog Band. Yeah, yeah, that would be interesting. Uh, uh, it's you know, it's great to have that kind of stuff out for you. So, uh, I go out to comic cons and things where young young kids now, young fans are reintroduced to us older guys because of things like that. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I'm 31 now, so, I mean, growing up watching you, I have kids, I'm introducing them to right. the Honky Tonk Man. I remember watching this guy back, you know, in 87 at Survivor Series and all these big <laughs> matches where, you know, you held the Intercontinental Championship for... for 64 weeks. Yeah, over a year. And 460, then, 454 days. Yeah. I, I didn't know all that until Howard Finkel, the ring announcer. Remember Howard? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he told me that a few a few years ago and because he's a he's like a book of knowledge oh, anyway yeah. about wrestling, but uh, I didn't know that I, I knew about the sixty four weeks but the four hundred and fifty four days I I didn't know that I didn't count them no just uh, you seem like all kind of, I imagine all kinds of blurs together after your show yeah after, after yeah show. it's uh it's like when the Grateful Dead they had the thing they had to go to court in California and they were asking them questions and they said man that was all a haze. Just a haze, just a show after show. And you were wrestling some of the biggest names. You were one of the biggest names at the time, as well as guys like you know Randy Savage and Elton Warrior. Oh, yeah. and, what you mean? Yeah. Oh boy, and I uh, I had a, a DVD in my house last night. I was starting to go through them, looking for stuff, and I found uh, a match you versus Randy Savage, um, where basically they the the Mega Powers started up. Yeah, the you were the, part of the, that match. This where the Mega Powers were born. That. That that was the one of the biggest shows, probably the biggest show uh, as far as viewership in the history of wrestling. Thirty five million people watched that show that that particular night. It was uh, done in Hershey, Pennsylvania, where I pushed Liz down, and and the the Hart Foundation, Brett and Jim came out and held Savage, and then he got the uh, one of my greatest hits, and uh, she goes to the back, grabs Hogan, and he comes out and. The mega powers were born. Yeah, just that, and, that handshake. And yeah, and someone reminded me uh, about it not so long ago that they said, "Why didn't you guys ever have tag matches?" And and I said, "You know, we didn't. We never had tag matches. The Hart Foundation and myself against Savage and 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 uh, Hogan. The, it, it was like we made the marriage for those two, and they went on their merry way, and we went on our merry way. Yeah, I just kind of started up. I don't even think Hogan and Savage wrestled the Hart Foundation. No, they never had no. tag matches against those guys either, and we were all very instrumental in that particular uh, segment. Yeah. Wow, incredible. So, yeah, a piece of wrestling yeah. history. I would have liked to have had the tag matches because 
obviously, you know, I would have made some money. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> some extra money. I mean, have you come out and wrestle singles, then come back and maybe wrestle a tag? Yeah, well, I did that too when I started. I, I would go out in the first match and wrestle as myself, come back, put a bodysuit on with a mask on, and go back and wrestle again, come back, take the bodysuit off, and wrestle in a three-fall tag match at the end of the night as myself again. Oh, wow. Uh, and the young kids, they don't understand... How, why it takes so long to learn the business. We learned it very, very fast back then because you were wrestling. That was two matches and then obviously a three-fall tag match. And that's like five matches in one night and I did that six nights a week. So you learn pretty fast. Absolutely. They call yeah. it a, it's a thing I've heard called the 10,000 rule where you have to spend 10,000 hours doing something before you're an expert. Yeah. And uh, I would yeah. think, you know, wrestling maybe a quick 15 minute match every week as opposed to wrestling you know an hour every night for three nights five nights you you, you get to become that expert you, yeah you, you learn real fast and uh uh I, I ran across a kid in toronto once and uh he comes over and he says i've been thinking about our match for tonight i said really how long have you been wrestling and he said five years i said wait i, I asked now years ago that that's a question you would ask I said, let me put that another way. How many matches have you had? He said, sixteen. I said, in five years, sixteen matches. You, you don't, you don't even need to be thinking. Don't think anymore, okay? Let me do the thinking. Well, he's going to yeah. think about what we're going to do. He's going to tell me what we are going to do. You just got to follow the leader. No, we are not doing yeah. anything. What you're going to do is shut up and listen. <laughs> <laughs> Taking to school by the honky tonk man. I feel like that's going to happen tonight. <laughs> yes, absolutely. With those other guys in there, yes, somebody's going to get schooled. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Great <laughs> show at the Brockville Memorial Center. Tickets My lovely still. assistant will be there. Yes. Yes, Jinxie over there in the corner. Hello. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna be there at the show. You're gonna be off to Cowan's Dairy signing some autographs this afternoon. Uh, you're yes. Down there for twelve thirty. So yes. Be there for twelve thirty. So hopefully see you down there. And uh, looking forward to a great show, Honky. Tonk okay. Thanks show. for having me up here on Bob B O B. Oops, I spelled it backwards. Oh, it doesn't matter. Same <laughs> either way. Thanks, thanks so much for coming, man. Bye.